Hello, everyone. My name is Andy, and I'm a sophomore at the University of Washington. This video is going to be in my introduction and motivation to my 26 in my YouTube channel. And congratulations on passing Meta 25 and Meta 24. You made most of the weed out courses that you did for math. And what is Meta 26? And in Meta 26, it's the third quarter of the introductory calc, and it covers a diverse range of topic, but we mainly transition from this one variable calculus to multiple variable calculus that you might found helpful if you're taking math 224, which is advanced multiple variable calculus, or take math 208, which, like, which is linear algebra. And in the first, you will learn introduction to like these three dimension, like the shape and the curves. I didn't even learn the vector functions and the vector geometry. In later the course, you will learn about partial derivative, and it's a combination of implicit of implicit differentiation and chain rule and the product rule. Then the all will learn in method twenty four. In chapter fifteen, and you will learn like multiple integrals, but first we start with, with double integrals, iterate integrals, that they will compute the volume of a region in, in x, y, z instead of x, y in method 25. By the end of the course, you will learn the Taylor polynomials and Taylor's Series and we also call them McLaurin's. And I think the, the course just uh, is enough for AP Calculus BC classes plus Meta 24 and Meta 25. And the tips to do one in this course one is a practice. We learn mathematics by doing mathematics, and we never learn mathematics by copying and memorizing mathematics. So practice, practice is the key to do well in Meta 26. And number two is your self-discipline and time management. You, you should be responsible as a college student that you know what to do after each lecture and what to do just before the exams. And the last bit is that you need some mindset that this is a weed out, that it's not as like AP Calculus BC in high school, that if you have 95%, you get an A. If you have 85%, then you get a B. Here, you have the curve. So it's like it's something you had to work super hard to get top grade. So here's the thing, be aware of a competition here and study hard. And don't be disappeared by bad grade, because if you fail method 26, not a big deal, unless you apply to super competitive program like the Foster, like computer science. One bad grade doesn't matter so much. And um, method 26 will be overall relative challenging course compared to method 24 and method 25. And you will learn different, and you will learn different stuff that you maybe never learned before. So this is a challenge. And I hope everyone have a meaningful yet challenging learning experiences in Meta 26. And next video is gonna be chapter 12 and section 12.1, introduction to three dimensional shape and curves. Thank you guys for watching and and I hope everyone have a have a positive experiences learning Method Twenty Six. Thank you guys. Have a great day.